So this is the Anchor Snap Charge Flow uh, 633 magnetic wireless charger with MagGo Series 6. Battery pack supposed to last 17 hours. Uh, typical Anchor packaging, quite nice. Not, not the best in the world, but it's, um, it's quite nice. Just open it up. Sorry, it's always a bit difficult one-handed. And this is what you've got in the box, so let's just pull it out. Um, a real premium uh, product, it's not cheap, but uh, I think it looks really smart. Um, very Apple-esque, and uh, the beauty of this stand is that this is actually a battery bank. So it attaches uh, to your iPhone on the back. Uh, and you can take it with you. Um, and then for the times you're not using it, you just put it in its stand. Uh, and again, uh, when you want to just put your phone on a stand, uh, maybe by your bed or at your desk or maybe the kitchen whilst you cook, um, it's charging the phone um, alongside charging the battery at the same time. So pretty, pretty neat little system. Um, and then underneath, uh, you can charge some AirPods as well. So uh, overall, pretty nice system. Comes in, I think, three colours. Um, nice soft touch to this. Um, uh, would, would go fine on the back of your phone uh, and attach up nicely. Um, the fit and finish of this looks really nice. Um, nice shiny metal fingerprint magnet, I'm sure, so I probably won't touch it. But uh, yeah, looks looks smart. Just slides in nicely. Doesn't even uh, need to click in. So let's just go into the rest of the box. I suspect this is just going to be a charge adapter and the normal anchor packaging. Asking if you're happy, uh, support questions, etc. In there, uh, user manual. Uh, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I don't think anyone really needs a user manual these days. Uh, for something so simple, but uh, it's there regardless. So inside you have a USB-C charger. Now it is a US uh, fitment on there, and it appears that this slides directly on top for European, sorry, for UK plugs. Now European plugs, it, there isn't one in the box. Um, so you'd still need to use an adapter, but uh, it's actually, I think it's quite cool to have um, have both. So if you do travel to the US, you um, have it already built in, which is quite cool. Um, then there's a standard USB-C to USB-C, uh, and that obviously attaches underneath in, in that port there, and there's a little cutaway there to keep it nice and flush on your desk or wherever. So, um, pretty standard stuff really, um, but it does look nice. Um, it's a nice uh, nice pattern, nice materials, nice quality, um, and best of all, as everyone knows, Anchor's um, warranty, uh, customer service, etc., is um, is pretty great. Uh, yeah, just to clarify, this is a PowerPort 3 25 watt uh, USB-C charger. I'll, uh, I'll do a, a bit of a report on these batteries. Oh, I can see actually there's a button on the side there that uh, shows you its its level. Interesting, there's four, there's five lights. Oh, it goes up that way. That must be a charge light on the uh, on the end piece there. So there's, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, lights going up and uh, one lower one which I presume will ch change colour when it's plugged in. Um, you can also plug USB-C directly into it just like a normal battery bank and then there's obviously the uh, anchor uh, connector there which goes into the into the piece there. Yeah overall feels happy. I feel happy with that. Uh, looks good, feels good. Would recommend it. So just plugging in the 
Anchor 633 magnetic wireless charger with Magga. Ah, so there's a little bit of a light underneath. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, let me just unplug it and plug it back in again. Yeah, so you've got a bit of a light. It looks like it flickers on the camera, but um, in real life it doesn't flicker. Um, I'm just going to take this out and put that back down. Nothing obvious lighting up there. Um, there's obviously the lights. Where are they? They're on that side, but you won't be able to see them because they are... Oh, no, tell a lie. Oh, they've obviously thought this through. So you've got the charging lights on the side there. Nice... Um, rubbery finish to the base there so that will really i mean that i'm you know obviously if you lift it it's quite easy but that you you wouldn't knock that over necessarily very easily so um that, that's good to know uh, and let me just plug in the unit here uh, and then similarly it shows the charging lights as you would expect uh from usb c on there now what i don't know is if you can charge this wirelessly from another charge base i suspect not because otherwise they could have just done that with this uh, and that's why there's the four pins on the bottom to take add the charge but um that's the only thing i'm just curious to see if you can actually wirelessly charge this unit um for instance in our car we've got a, a wireless charger it would be quite useful sometimes just to put that straight on uh, obviously usb-c is going to be better for efficiency of charge etc but uh, yeah that's um overall happy with that um detachable on the go portable charger from anchor snap and charge uh, there's the information on the box there if that's any use yeah 5000 milliamp hour wireless charger battery and uh, yeah it comes with a five foot or 1.5 meter usb-c to usb-c cable 25 watt USB-C power adapter, which I showed you earlier, uh, and references that it's compatible with iPhone 12 and, and newer, basically. Uh, also wireless AirPods 2 with wireless charging case and AirPods Pro. Uh, I can show you the AirPods Pro uh, and AirPods Pro 2, actually, charging now. So this is AirPods Pro 2. Uh, I'm just going to attach it to this. It's obviously got the magnetic feature there, and that is charging straight away on there. That's cool. Uh, and it's showing the blue light uh, on the battery bank, uh, which is obviously showing that it is uh, using power. And then uh, they've got the four lights to the left there. Now, I presume, yeah, I, I, I was presuming that that was the case. There was no wireless charger within that back unit, as expected. But um, you never know with anchors. Sometimes they put these cool features and you don't know that they exist. So uh, let, me, uh, let me attach this back in. And uh, I'll just confirm that it charges uh, underneath here. So uh, obviously you could just drop that in. Uh, and then sure enough, that's charging. Now that isn't... Um, the it doesn't have the magnet, sorry, that... Um, we had on here with the with the new AirPods Pro 2. Um, so it's very simple. Well, obviously they, they didn't exist when I presume this was originally launched. So that's uh, that's why. But it's uh, it holds the charge fairly well. It has to be quite central on there. But as you'd expect, you can move that around a fair bit uh, on there. And then this is the uh, AirPods Pro Originals um, in a case. And sure enough, that's appearing to charge, I think. It obviously doesn't make the same noises as uh, the, the, the second version. I'll just check. I'm not sure if that is charging, actually. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Sorry. It's just flashed there. Potentially might be um, a bit more of an issue because it's in this case. Yeah, you can see it's charging there. Um, you just get so. I've just been so used to these AirPod Pro 2 where you hear the beep. Um, there's obviously no beep on the original ones, so uh, yeah, it's just a nice little feature for that. So, yeah, overall, um, pretty happy. Oh, that was a question. Did this does this charge okay? So, that's flashing. I don't know if that's a I'm charging flash, it's not on the 
on the right hand side so I suspect that to uh, get me off get me off the top of there sort of thing I'll just turn it the other way just in case it's not doing that so that's interesting that it knows that that's either shouldn't be there or should be there um, and it doesn't either doesn't like it or loves it so uh, let's go back to that it didn't do that with these did it um, I suspect that's a, an error. Maybe I do actually need the user manual just to see if there's a, a reference to that in there. So go with me. Uh, so yeah, like in this uh, user manual, I couldn't find uh, the answer to my question about uh, it lighting up or not. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I just thought I'd um, do a quick comparison next to the mouse uh, wireless charger and metal stand. Obviously, completely different style of charger. Um, uh, but it, it offers very similar features, uh, excluding the battery element. I was just um, putting the battery on there just to see if it charges. Um, obviously, with with this, it just can attach. Uh, you can spin it around, charges. Um, neat system. I like it. H had it on my desk for quite a while. Um, now, let me just attach the battery into there, uh, and then obviously just... My phone isn't in the case, obviously, as you can see. Um, similarly, though, obviously, you can just spin it around pretty much any angle, which is great. It feels pretty snug on there. Slight wobble because the cable's actually um, not, not tucked in properly, so that's better. A bit more uh, rigid on there. Uh, yeah, that would uh, work fine. Bit of a pull. I would say that the anchor has got a better grip on the on that compared to the the mouse system. Uh, the mouse system is still pretty good. Uh, I just feel like I can move it off those magnets a bit easier. Um, obviously, the anchor one is is quite a bit. Uh, I suppose it's actually not too dissimilar in in thickness, uh, but obviously you then got the stand as well on the back. Um, I think it's down to personal preference, really, on uh, on colours. Obviously, the mouse one doesn't have a charging pad for um, ear, ear pods, AirPods. Sorry. Um, however, though, you can charge it directly on there. So I tend to do that when uh, I need a quick charge on them anyway. Uh, I guess overnight, though, it would be quite nice if it's beside your bed to have that uh, plugged in there. Uh, I've just unplugged the the anchor version there that's why it's not lighting up but uh yeah overall i think they're they're both both great devices um i do like the compactness of the little battery that you get with that and i think for most people most households having uh, a, a wireless charged up portable battery bank ready to go every night uh, is quite cool um so I think the yeah the problem with some of these battery banks is that uh, you you end up not using them very often, uh, and that means that you, you you just put them in a drawer or something until you need them, and then when you need them, you realise that they've got no charge in them. So actually, for this to be forced to be part of your day to day routine with with charging your phone means that you always have a battery bank that's fully charged and ready to go, which is quite cool. Cool feature. I'd be interested to know if the um, the fact it's always plugged in, uh, and also when you're then charging your phone, um, whether that uh, deteriorates the battery within here uh, prematurely, because um, you're obviously pumping uh, energy in through the the, the ground uh, base mount, then uh, seemingly into this battery bank, and then into your phone. So you've um, You've got a little bit of energy loss there potentially, um, sort of wasteful converting it into into the battery maybe and then out again, or whether there's a bypass within it. I don't know if there's uh, any information on that. I mean, for the for the average person, you wouldn't notice the difference, but uh, when you're looking at uh, the meter, you know, one or two uh, watt hours uh, a week you know, might add up to uh, a coffee or something like that over over its lifetime. So. <laughs> It's uh, something to consider, but uh, yeah, overall, it looks good. I like it. You've obviously got the benefit of uh, being able to, to charge uh, the AirPods 
Crow 2, uh, similarly to the, the mouse case system there uh, by, by physically putting them there or, or there. So in theory, you could charge two sets at the same time if, if you really wanted. Um, I do like the fact that, though, you can take this on the go with you and sure enough, you know, wherever you go, you've got um, the ability to wirelessly charge stuff without carrying around cables for the day. You know, if I was heading into London for the day, it would be great to take one of these. It just slips directly onto the back of my phone. Job done. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite secure on there. It's not going to come off. Um, in your pocket, it might slide off. Um, but if you, you know, out for dinner or whatever, you could just pop that, you know, like that. You wouldn't necessarily know it's even there. Um, there's, it comes in, I think, three colours. So I think there's a black version and I think a purple version or, or something like that. So um, there's a bit of a bit of an option for and, and I'm, I suspect some companies like D Brand might even offer a vinyl wrap if you really wanted to you know, customize it. You know, go carbon fiber like my mouse case or something like that. So uh, yeah, a few options there. Yeah, any questions about it, uh, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll add a link also uh, in the comments so uh, you can check quick, check it out yourself and, uh, and pick one up if it's of use. Um, the only thing I've found with these chargers in the past, not particularly Anchor, but, but some other ones, uh, I think it was a Belkin one I had, was by my bed, whether it was the wireless charging or something to do with the... The, the, the power adapter, I heard a buzzing noise. Uh, and if you're in an office environment or in your lounge or in your kitchen, a little buzz is fine. Um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know it, know it's even there. But if it's beside your bed and you, um, you're lying not far away from it, you soon notice a buzz. So uh, I'll report in the um, video description or in the comments if I've noticed a buzz, buzz from it. But... Uh, Actually, you can see the angle there that it goes to. That's quite a significant angle change, isn't it? So the one problem with this unit is this lovely light. Um, the only way I can show it to you at the moment is causing an error on it by um, putting my Apple Watch on top. It's uh, flashing to say that there's something that shouldn't be there. Um, but when you put your phone on to charge on the pad, uh, the the lights go around and then stay illuminated for, I think, about three or four seconds, uh, which I think in an office environment or um, in your kitchen or whatever, I think that's fine. It's a quite a good visual indicator that uh, your ch phone is charging. Um, However, it would be great if there was a toggle switch or something like that, because if you imagine pitch dark bedroom and all of a sudden these lights uh, turn on, it's a little bit um, much. Um, I don't necessarily want this flashing uh, and then staying on. Um, it's not ideal. So uh, that's the one negative I have with this. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to toggle those on and off. Um, I think they're actually just too bright anyway. It's a bit over the top. Uh, it's quite difficult to see, but uh, normally it wouldn't flash like that. That's just if there's an error, but uh, it, uh, it doesn't sort of uh, distract uh, slightly and uh, blind you at uh, whatever time it is at uh, night time when you're in bed. So I uh, personally wouldn't recommend it for beside the bed. Hopefully that's of use to anyone that's uh, considering buying one. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.